Hello of YouTube, I've got a uh, message out today, and this video is going towards the jan transgender women, and due to the fact that they want to use women public restrooms, um, I kind of have a big problem of this, I've been hearing this on the news, and people flipping out like in Boston, and people in the transgender nation I think should think other things besides, oh, we wish to be allowed to use women's restroom because, you know, now we're women. Now, <clears throat> I could say, if you had your thing cut off and you went the full length of having yourself placed in a woman's part, I could see that happening. But, if you're still a man... And you're still taking the crossover. And you still have your junk. I think it's a big mistake. That you uh, take yourselves in a woman's restroom. To use the bathroom. Whether you're sitting and squatting. <clears throat> and I don't know if anybody's ever thought of this theory. Of why transgender still to be a woman. Men. Should not be allowed in a woman's bathroom with their junk still hanging all over the place. <clears throat> I believe that if you do this, and due to the fact, of course, I have a wife. I have cousins that are women. I have friends with wives and friends with girlfriends that are women, of course. I think you get the picture. Everybody has someone who I know of women... And I know women that are friends or been friends or whatever. But I could not take the thought of any of these people, of course, even knowing them. You know, to go into a bathroom and then all of a sudden you got yourself, oh, these sick, demented fucks that still roam the earth, that still... I'm sure, <laughs> you know, think of this stuff or even breed a new generation of it. And I'm the type of person that thinks of the worst of happening all the time. What if this happened? What does that happen? I have freaking dreams of things happening and it comes true. Alright? So, I mean, it's not like I'm against the transgenders <clears throat> because they are doing a transformation. They want to become a woman, but I think fully that you should wait until you're fully formed, fully transferred, fully into that form of where, yeah, you sound like a woman. You definitely look like a woman, and you, you know, are um, transformed over to a 100%. Because you think about it, think about it, think about this. You got this yourself a serial killer or maybe even a serial rapist. And you look at the movies that have been made in the past and you look at the news and stuff that's been, you know. I've even watched a, um, a husband and wife thing on Forensic Files. Great show. But the guy killed his wife, then dressed up as his wife. And walked out of their house and left while, you know, his wife laid there lying, bleeding to death. <clears throat> then died. <clears throat> All got to do with money and um, life insurance. But due to the certain walks and formalities of the, uh, someone, I think a video of it, you know, surveillance camera caught this person, you know. They caught the bastard, which is good, but you gotta think of this stuff. You gotta think of this stuff. And then you get these men that say, oh, jeez. I can go into a bathroom, kill someone. If I get caught, oh, I'm transgender. I walked into the bathroom and saw this lady laying on the floor dead. Oh, my God, what has happened? I mean, yes, regardless if a man can sneak in anyways. What if the man dresses up, though? What if they get raped and, oh, it was a woman with a wig, yeah. 
You know, it's... <laughs> And then that woman's scarred for life because some transgender-looking person that has no business. And then they sit there and say, oh, was a trans. And then they're looking through all the transgender nation for this rapist, but it was really a real man dressed as a woman, you know. These are the things you got to think of. It's sick. But, to, you know, but to come up with... Oh, we want to use these bathrooms. You got to come up with the worst of what, what could happen. And due to me, Ray, having friends, relatives, wife, you know, I'm thinking these things. And I, <laughs> I've had a dream of something happening very bad to someone. And I'll tell you something. It included rape. I won't say no names. But I had a dream of something happening, of someone being raped. And it almost happened. Almost. <clears throat> That's as sick as my mind gets because it's the type of person I am. I'm not a sick person to go do something, but I'm a sick person to think something because I'm always on full defense. You know, my life has been nothing but a full defense mode due to people and these serial killers, these rapists, these child molesters, these stupid, idiotic fucking people has made me the person who I am today. And that's full of defense. Even when I was a child, roaming the streets at five years old, for some apparent reason, I had a mode of full defense. You know, I've been in situations where, yeah, I could have been murdered and killed and no one would have even known about it. But we have survival skills of the city and survivor skills of thinking things of, oh, this could happen, that could happen, because it lays out beyond the realms of death. It's all there in black and white. People back in the day through the 30, 40, 50, 60s and beyond that, you know, hid stuff, closeted. You wouldn't know about it. These days, you can find it all over the goddamn internet. Jesus Christ, even Charles Manson one of his um, disciples is trying to get parole. What would look good? I mean, yeah, she's probably, what, 80, uh, 65, almost 70 years old now. What the hell is she going to do? But still, why does she need to get paroled? I mean, this is just things I think of. What? It's just a sick fucking world. People still get away with the bullshit that they do, murdering kids, murdering people. Oh, it was lack of evidence. Give me a fucking break. It's just sick and disgusting. And now transgender women, you're opening up a new door and a new pathway to these fucking transgender, you know, fakes that will be created. And things will start happening, I think. I mean, you got to think of that. It will take just that one time, that one person, that one sick SOB to come on in a bathroom and say, Ooh, oh, I was here, he was in the bathroom, and this woman's dead. And you clearly, they clearly raped it, raped her, and, you know, they clearly cut her throat or did whatever the one in hell to do, and they, oh, I'm a transgender person, and... Yeah, I got a piece and all oh, geez and but you gotta think. You gotta think of these things. And once one gets away with it, they're all gonna get away with it. And that's another thing. Even if they don't get caught and they walk out of the bathroom, they're gonna see a woman walking away. And then they know quite frankly they're looking for a woman. And then they gotta look through all the people that you know, it'll just be a mess. And if someone plans this and does it the right way, oh man, that's going to be even worse. You have a dead woman in a bathroom somewhere and someone walking free, dee 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 dee, until they get caught. But how many lives will be taken on that? I mean, hey, you got to think of these things. Transgenders in the bathroom, I think, is a bad idea. And the solution to that, not to be racist, not to be the you know, disrespectful, but hey, let's make your own bathrooms. Why not? Transgender bathroom. No one else allowed. That's what I think. That's what I think. That's a problem solved. And keeping the uh, thoughts of a madman out of your 
face. <laughs> and then, uh, then, 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 yet, you know, you got these transgender men. Well, this transgender man dressed up as one of them comes in and gets one of you guys, yeah. You'll be disappointed in the end, you know, finding out what's down there, but <laughs> then you're dead. <laughs> what? <laughs> and you're not going to... Sometimes you're not going to have the wisdom to sit there and say, whoa, what? You know, and they just slash your throat behind you, come up from behind you. You're thinking, hey, it's another person. I mean, that might even happen. And, and then if you got your own bathroom, you ain't going to worry about that. But <clears throat> then you, and everybody's safe. Women are safe. It's just crazy. But them are my thoughts and theories that I think should happen with the transgender world. You know, hey, I ain't got nothing against it. Although I did... I uh, make a video a while back before Bruce Jenner started his whining bullshit about how he feels bad about getting rid of Bruce and all this, which I think I wanted to throw in there. That's very disgusting. <laughs> I knew he wasn't going to do this. I knew he was going to make a big mockery of it, and and I knew what he I knew what he was doing. I think Bruce Jenner did all this to make money just to pay off the people that, yeah, he got in a car wreck with. Whether or not he did it intentional, whether or not he killed that person, I think that's what Bruce Jenner did. Who's that? Anyways, YouTube kid bugging me here. <clears throat> what are my thoughts and theories on the transgender bathroom? Hey, make your own. Not disrespectful and disrespecting you. It's just, hey, you gotta think. Could be that one sick person that comes along and does something stupid. It makes it all wrong, and then it's going to get all transferred back again. And to save the, the hassle, make a bathroom for you people. And, you know, your nation. Respect to you. And only you, the people can of that nation, use that bathroom. That's what I think. But other than that world of YouTube, I'm not here to try to offend nobody. Out.